Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Linux Ubuntu Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to disable automatic login in Linux Ubuntu. But before we start with explanations, here is the main motivation for disabling automatic login. The motivation is really simple. If automatic login is enabled, once you press the start button, you will be immediately logged in, that is your Linux Ubuntu session will start. Now, for security reasons, this is not a good idea. You don't want someone who you don't know to access your private information, your private data. So let's learn how to disable automatic login. To do that, first of all, open a terminal. You can click here and search for terminal. And then over here in the terminal, let's first install a simple editor that will enable us to edit files. For that purpose, we need to type sudo apt install nano. Nano is the name of the program and then enter your password. In my case, I already installed the nano. However, in your case, you will see the installation progress. The next step is to edit a configuration file. This is a configuration file for GNOME Display Manager or GDM. To edit this file we need to type sudo nano, then we need to type etc gdm3, where gdm stands for GNOME Display Manager, and the name of the file is custom.conf, where conf stands for configuration. And over here you need to do several changes. First of all, under this daemon, you might not even see these two lines. However, if you see these li lines, and if they're not uncommented, you need to comment them. So you simply need to go here and comment them. Then over here, you have to make sure that these options are also commented. If you leave, for example, time login enabled true, you will be automatically logged in after a certain amount of time. Consequently, make sure that these lines are also commented and that will do the job. Now, you need to save this file. To do that, you have several options. You can press Ctrl S or you can press Ctrl O, then enter. And to exit this file, you simply need to press Ctrl X. After this, you need to type sudo reboot to reboot your system and next time you reboot your system you will see the login screen where you would ask to enter the username and password and that's it simple as that 